Hi friends, my name is Sarvansh and thank you for watching my the other video about Intune tutorial. So today we are going to talk about the configuration profile available in Intune, how we can create the configuration profile, how we can use it, how we can deploy it and how we can just get the report on how many machines your configuration profile deployed. So let me start this video. So before starting this, let us understand the what is the configuration profile. So configuration profile used to deploy setting or a feature on device to enable or disable some of the features which you wanna deploy on the end user machine. So it can be used the complete uh, complete different type of task. So you can complete a uh, different different type of task, which is a uh, few of the templates are available in your Intune console. You can utilize that the default template like a administrator template, email, and point protection, certificate, VPN, and the others. So there are a the lot of uh, default template provided by Microsoft in Intune. You can utilize that if you want to create your own you can do that so uh, here we are going to talk about the administrative template let's see what is that so configuration profile can be deployed on a different type of OS such as a Android devices administrator Android uh, iOS Android and iOS iPad Mac and the Windows 10 or the latter devices so you can deploy uh, your configuration profile on a different different type of OS so let us go next so where is uh, my the configuration profile uh, setting sits it's uh, under the devices and uh, under the devices you can see in the configuration profile as it highlighted here so from here you can uh, go and you can create the profile so we'll go on through it. Let's let's understand how many types of configuration profile is there. Administrative template, which we are going to uh, test it in our in this video. We have like a custom delivery optimization that is used under the window. Uh, deliver credential that is uh, specifically used for Android, iOS, iPad, and uh, device features that can be deployed on Mac, iOS, iPad. Uh, device firmware it's especially for the windows window device restrictions so these are the uh, types of configuration we have available so it's a huge number like email endpoint protection extension uh, identity protection kiosk uh, microsoft defender for the windows so i create these are the list to just see and the understand what are the limitations we have to create the configuration profile so these all are what you see in it here like we can configure the vpn we can configure the wi-fi trusted certificate scp certificate so these are the configuration profile you can use in your intune console so let me go and uh, uh, let me show you the uh, administrator template so as i show uh, as i told you in in this video we are going to cover a demonstrate for the administrative template so here we can configure almost 5000 plus settings for like a control panel microsoft is network onedrive printers skype so it's a very wide range of settings we can create and deploy to the end user machine by using the administrative template so let me go here uh, to my the Intune console now and let's understand how we can do that so to create a uh, administrative template what you can do you can go with the devices and under the configuration profile so here is the option to create a your configuration profile so create a configuration profile platform you can select Windows 10 and letter so in this video we are going to uh, test it or uh, uh, test the configuration profile on our windows 10 so here is like a default template as i told you a lot of default template are available in ppd i shows you these are the names which is available uh, which we can utilize to configure our uh, configuration profile 
so let us take an example about the administrative template here and now here what we are going to do we are going to allow rdp access on end user machine allow rdp access i can mention it here you can give the description go to the next and here is the template uh, in uh, we are under the configuration um, uh, administrative template and these are the features available in our um, in our administrative template so these are the features you can utilize like the control panel if you go to the control panel you can uh, you can personalize your the control panel here and uh, you can the, the change the languages as well if you want to configure your language user accounts and the similar way you have the other settings like the microsoft is if you want to configure anything under the uh, the microsoft is you can do that and uh, so these are like a similar options where if you want to pr configure the printer you can go here the printer and uh, how you can do that like a printer location you can enable and can mention here mention here and let let me take an example here uh, so let me go and uh, as we planned it to configure to enable the Microsoft uh, oh, sorry the Windows RDP so where uh, this policy will apply to end user machine and then you can able to take RDP for that particular machine so uh, let us go under the Windows component and uh, under the Windows component let's search for the a remote desktop over here so here is the remote desktop services and here we can go with the uh, remote desktop session host and here is a like a connection so as I told here is a very huge list of uh, 5000 plus settings you can uh, deploy to on your the end user machine so it's up to you which settings you are planning to deploy on uh, on your machine so here uh, let us try to configure uh, which is like a allow to the connection by using the remote services uh, what exactly it will do it will deploy the settings and it will enable to take the RDP on for on your machine so uh, once you click here it will give you the setting option uh, click on enable so now this settings is enabled automatically remediation configure limitation if you want to set the limitation how many users can take a RDP so you can set up here like four or five users or one users and if you want to select it like the network detection RDP transport so these are the settings available which you can enable on your the end user machine so after selecting this let us go with the next and uh, here is the scope so i'm not going to select any of the scope because the scope has not created yet in my lab and uh, let us go with the next so here is the option uh, to select your group where you want to deploy your the configuration setting so uh, let me create a group quickly here so here i already i create a uh, group uh, it's a administrative template and uh, here if you seen it how many members are here so here I I selected like a devices and uh, that relevant user so you can select the user and devices both if you want to deploy on a device you can select only the device if you want to select only the user it up to you so for the testing purpose I mix up both the things is the device and a user so let me go here and uh, give this group name administrative profile so i assigned it let us go with the next and my this setting is ready to deploy so now this setting has deployed to on the my end user machine and once it done it here what you can do you can just click here uh, immediately it won't be replicate and immediately it won't be uh, shows you the setting 
uh, on on your end user machine it will be taking some time to replicate on the end user machine so uh, here let us go with the end user machine now this is my the testing machine and what I can do here uh, I, let me sync up because I'm using the company portal over here so let me sync up and uh, once the sync up is done then the policy will apply to my the end user machine and you can see in the settings on the on end user machine okay so sync has done now here let us check the event logs so what are the logs we can check in the event viewer open your the event viewer here and you need to go with the application under the application go with the microsoft the windows and here you need to go with the the device management enterprise so these are the logs you can check it here so once you've done it uh, uh, so there is a logs you can uh, check with the the 800 events ids uh, and uh, here you can see in the mdm policy applied for the broadcast these are the settings and these are the policy it's showing it's applied and you can just wait for some more time so it can give you the more details when when you sync up it properly or you can reboot your device if you are in the testing lab if you are in the production so you can leave as it is it will take some time to update the complete logs and sending the reports to intune console so you can check it here and let let us show the uh, let us check the status first in our intune console so how it is showing here let me go under the devices under the device the configuration profile so this is the setting allow the rdp we deployed it let us go here and check so here is no status yet because just now we applied and uh, it won't be showing you the immediate report it will take some time to sync up in the back end so these are the settings let's see with the device status so here it's showing the two devices why it is showing the two devices uh, why because we selected the one device and the one user so that user wherever it log in to the device or wherever it it's mounted that user to a particular device it will detect that device and that user relevant to that user it will detect automatically so this is the device which we was deployed it it's showing here like a success so status is a success that means is our uh, our compliance policy this configuration policy as deployed to on particular this device and here it's showing the pending so might be this machine is on a offline status so let us go uh, and check with the the users so nothing is showing here uh, let me go here and see the overview whether in the reporting i can see in it here or not let me refresh if it can update the data so you can get the compliance report so it's not showing i think it will take some time but if you want to check the immediately you can go to the devices and you can check over here so it's showing the success and and what else i can show you here it will update uh, let me show you the uh, my the other um the other configuration profile which is deployed for the testing the administrative profile so this chart will looks like this uh, where it got success on a one machine and the one device is uh, no, uh, one device is having an error so you can see in this colorful chart here you can get the status for your devices and this is for the users the similar way you will get the status for our on this profile which we deployed it just now so now let us go again back to my the testing machine this is my the testing machine and let's see whether the setting has applied or not so here go to the computer and uh, go to the property and go to the remote setting which we was allowing to to set it's like allow to the computer so if you see it here 
it's uh, it's showing like uh, allow the computer on this and now the setting has applied through over the intune so you cannot modify so user cannot modify the setting uh, it similarly work like the our gpo was working on premises the similar way you can apply your the configuration profile over here and guys so uh, that's how you can check and implement it now you can't modify this because it's controlled by the configuration profile so if you go here uh, we have not set up this profile you can restrict it from your the uh, the configuration profile as well so here is a, uh, the restrictions for this how many hours so these are the settings by default i can modify it because i have uh, not applied this configuration from intune so guys that's how you can deploy it uh, your the configuration profile i given a one example uh, through intune how you can do that uh, it's just in a one example as i told you there is a more than 5000 machine or uh, 5000 settings you can deploy it based on your requirement so let me go here again and let's check the troubleshooting what we can check here so here let us select the user what we selected in our group here you can go and here you can check this is like a your the assignment for the application uh, and now here you can check as a configuration profile what is deployed so here what you deployed it's a one setting is deployed as administrative profile and is one the rdp access so from here also you can troubleshoot and check whether your uh, configuration profile is deployed to end user machine or not so it is showing the last modify here and if you go inside it okay so could not modified not found let me go here okay i i have i think some problem with my intune so uh, i think it is not showing for the moment but if you give some time then uh, you can able to see uh, here your the troubleshooting part if you want to check anything so why i was uh, added the user in my group so let me explain you if you are doing the any of uh, troubleshooting you can use the only the users here so if you have you cannot select the device here for the troubleshooting you can just uh, select only the user so uh, I would like to show this option that's why i added the user in my the deployment so guys that is how you can do it uh, let me go and check one more time if the the data has replicated here then i can show you so it still it has not updated here but after the some time it can you can see in the details over here and the device is showing here the for the one device is showing the success one is a pending and that the similar things you can check in your the chart so guys thank you for watching this video uh see you soon in my next video uh about the intune there are the lot of things has to cover up in my the youtube channel so guys thank you thank you for watching this video see you soon in my next video